I can't help myself. How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Tone Clips. My name is Blake Hall. If you're into everything guitar, you came to the right place. So go ahead and hit the little subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss the next video. Now today, we are talking about the disruption by modal effects. This is a modular gain pedal. Now the reason why I say that you've never seen a pedal do this before is because first of all, these modules on this particular pedal, you can change from the face of the pedal, which is a cool thing. The other thing that I've never seen before is where you can actually change not only the drive circuit, but you can change the tone stack. They make other tone stacks, which will change the overall sound of everything else on the pedal. Then on top of that, there's a boost built in. Well, I guess it's not exactly built in because you can change that as well. Never seen a pedal do that before. But let's go ahead and listen to a track that I wrote using this on all of the guitar tracks. Let's go ahead and check that out. Alright guys, so I'm going to go over the features and layout of the actual pedal with no modules on it so we're clear on how everything looks uh, when you don't even have the modules in there. So at the top here we have input and output jacks and then in the center we have a power supply which is 9 volts. On the top here this is where you have your three rows for your modules and they just connect. Uh, right here on these little magnetic strips really cool and then uh, this is where you're gonna be working uh, the majority of the time on the actual pedal itself you have an on off switch for the overall pedal and then an activate switch for this row of modules now this functionality is particular to these pre-production runs. Uh, I'll get into that in just a minute when we get some modules on here. And last but not least, you have uh, your, your volume knob in the middle. Of course, uh, you got LED indicators for the switching here.
let's go over the functionality of this thing. First of all, you'll want to know that your guitar signal is moving right to left. So your guitar signal is gonna hit this first module, then go into this one, and then this one, which is why I've got things laid out the way I do here. I've got a drive in the center here, which is, in this case, it's the fuzz, and then the tone afterwards. So when I press this button right now, it turns on uh, these two modules if this one is off, and then I have a fuzz circuit with a killer tone stack that I can, uh, I can dial in really nicely. And then I can boost that sound and get a little more drive and compression. Now I'm told that in the future there may be some added functionality where you can turn off this row of modules independently. That way if you're a guy like me and you like your boost after everything, after your whole drive section, like on my pedal board I would normally put my boost after all my drives and that way I get a little more bump in volume, maybe not quite as much uh, jump and gain and compression. Um, I, I really like that for solos because you stand out in the mix a little bit more. This has been really awesome uh, for getting that extra gain though. That is the way it is right now. I love this, uh, but I'm told that, like I said, we'll be able to possibly turn this last row on and off by itself, which gives you a whole nother slew of things that you can do. Alright guys, now that I've actually told you about the bass or the pedal itself, let's talk about these modules. The guys from Modal Effects are calling these mods, and uh, they're just a little bit bigger than a domino piece. Uh, just a little bit. Really cool, small enclosure, and obviously the controls are going to be on the front, so they're on the face of the pedal. And uh, most of them have one knob, and some of them even have a switch. Uh, normally that is to be able to select what type of clipping you would like to have, and that varies on each mod. Now at the top here, you have this nice little lip, and that looks like it's not a big deal, but when you're taking it off the pedal, first of all, you all have to know that these uh, magnet strips are very strong and uh, if that lip wasn't there you'd have to maybe pull on a knob or anything. They fix that for you. You have a lip here and it makes it really easy to take off the pedal.
Now, they make a bunch of different mods for your pedal. They make fuzz mods. They make distortion mods. They make overdrive mods. Then there are these boost mods and tone mods. Now, what you get when you buy the pedal, you're going to get the bass, the actual pedal itself, and then you're going to get T1, which is the, this tone stack here, and B1, which is the uh, boost here. And then, as far as the drive circuit is concerned, you get the option of fuzz, overdrive, or even distortion, and um, man, if you were to get all of these, it is nuts, all the different sounds that you could achieve with this pedal. Like I said, so you get, just a little recap, you get the pedal, this tone, and this boost, and then you have a choice of one of these three drives, fuzz, drive, or distortion. Now, uh, they also, as of right now, I know that they make another tone that you, can, uh, that you can buy, and this is just a total different EQ curve than this other tone here, and it will completely open up however many drives that you own to put on this thing. Now you've just doubled it if you get their other tone stacks really cool feature and then you can get to playing around with the different orders and stuff uh really cool Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we check out the Disruption by Modal Effects. If you want to know more about these guys, I will leave you a link in the description below. They're gonna have a Kickstarter uh, really soon, so if you wanna jump in on that, that will also be linked below. I will make sure that when it is up, that it is down there. And uh, if you just wanna stay tuned, go to their website, sign up on the mailing list, I did. And, you know, they're not paying me to say all this, but I, I just want y'all to know about this stuff, all right? I've got this thing on my board. I've had so much fun with it. I know you'd want to, too. So, guys, um, if you want to check out my original music, by the way, I do have some original music out there on Spotify and Google Play, iHeart, Rhapsody, all the things. Uh, I will leave you a link to my website, blakehallmusic.com, down below. And there will also be links to the Tone Clips merch store. And uh, so if you wanna buy t-shirts or coffee mugs or anything, that really helps us out here, allows me to uh, continue making these videos. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the little like button down below and uh, make sure that you hit the little subscribe button and the little bell icon right next to it so you don't miss the next video, and I will see you in that next video. Peace. No clapping, no nothing. It's already lined up, baby. Yeah.
more effects. If you want to know about And and this is and this is why I do the whole bloopers thing because some people should be able to laugh at me, you know, not just me. That that dope that would be selfish, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? There's people in here. It's weird. That just sounded really weird. Like I had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, it stopped. Okay. There we go. We're good. It's because I yelled. It's like, dude, no. Shh. Guys, thanks. <laughs> this is how it happens at the end of the day when you're like, I know I'm almost done. It's like a Jackie Chan movie. Yeah. <laughs> go feel the fish. <laughs> go filter. Go filter. Go filter. Anyway. Below. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while we... If you want to know more about this pedal and this brand and the things and the shoe size and whatnot, I'll give you their social security numbers. Size 10 and a half. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. Oh, hey there. Does your significant other constantly get on to you for having too much music gear and cluttering up the house with it? Well, Midgard has got you covered. They'll give you a nice cozy little nook for your valuables and even a place to go for whenever the in-laws are in town. Thanks, Midgard.